This video is about getting tracks off of an old digital recorder. Uh, recently, I've had this guy who has an old Fostex that was reviewed in October of 2000 by Sound on Sound, this Fostex VF16. It looks like this. It's a 16-track digital recorder. And he wants to get whatever files he recorded on here and get them into a DAW. Uh, and I happen to use Pro Tools. Um, the only way to get this stuff off is through the outputs on the back, right and left. So what we end up doing is, is we uh, take two tracks at a time out of here and pan one left and one right and so we'll end up with uh, the two mono tracks if he recorded all 16 tracks that's eight passes um, what's very difficult is if he did not record a click or to a click uh, then you have to line up um, if it's eight passes you have to line up eight passes to get together to sync in uh, certain circumstances uh, the the song starts with the drummer clicking his sticks so since the drummer started with clicking his sticks uh, we put the drums on track one and two just two room mics basically what we'll do is have the first uh, three or four clicks uh, with these volumes up and then the other tracks that we're going to record onto the new tracks we just immediately mute the the drum tracks after the clicks so that it just records the clicks onto the uh, subsequent tracks so in that uh, session we end up with something like this uh, this is the one I wanted to bring up so these two tracks were recorded first then we went back in and recorded these two tracks and then 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 these two tracks so what we can do here is this is this is just recorded I haven't done anything with it yet and uh, if you listen to it with uh, with how all the clicks lined up sounds like this because they're not lined up yet so here's how you can line up the tracks as long as you have clicks if you don't have the clicks you're really gonna have a hard time but at least you only have to line up eight tracks basically because you group the two um, so over here we have no groups so I'll take these two guys group them and I, I don't really care about the group names because I'll probably just get rid of the groups So I'm just marking the tracks I want to group and hitting Command G. And now I have six groups. So six times two, 12 tracks is all he had on this song here. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll uh, make the waveforms bigger. Command Option, was it right bracket or something? And then. Uh, zoom in and there's something here at the beginning so that's goop so that uh, these are the you can see the first clicks here I think we even had a, a tempo for this one but that doesn't that doesn't even matter um, you're also gonna want tab the transient and that's this guy here so that's turned on and we can go on to this group now now it highlights both tracks or selects both tracks we're in grid, let's switch to slip real quick. And then when you hit tab, it takes you right to that transient. So once you go to that transient, boom, trim off the front. This one, we know that's goop at the front, so we'll hit here, tab to this transient, and A, slice the front off. Same thing, tab transient, slice. Tab, slice. Tab, slice, and tab. Whoops, I hit, I hit the A first. Tab to the transient and slice. So now we'll go back into grid, 
and suck these groups up to a grid point. In fact, uh, I could take it to the beginning of the song. But for some reason, I like space at the beginning. Uh, and pull these guys all over. And now they're all lined up. And you can even see the clicks. Play it. So there you go. Now they're all lined up and the entire song is in time. And that's how you do it. Transferring uh, from a digital recorder somehow, either one at a time or two at a time. Get those tracks over. Put them in mono. And uh, the way we did that was uh, you know, the, the mixer. I just used the analog 15 and 16 on my interface and uh, like I said did these two then did these two and went all the way down and now it's ready to put bass keyboards vocals you know whatever but uh, and just get away from using the uh, the little portable guy and that's how you do it so hopefully this helped you out and see you next time <laughs>